Good morning and welcome to today's reflection from Holy Trinity Formby. My name is Philip Eastwood. Today's Bible reading is taken from the New Testament, Romans chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God for all the Israelites is that they may be saved. For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God, but their zeal is not based on knowledge. Since they did not know the righteousness of God and sought to establish their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. Christ is the culmination of the law, so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. Moses writes this about the righteousness that is by the law. The person who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that is by faith says, Do not say in our heart, Who will ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down. Or, Who will descend into the deep? That is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. This is the word of the Lord. The last two verses of today's passage particularly stand out for me. Paul spells out that this opportunity to be saved by faith in Jesus, trusting Jesus, and opening up your life to serve Jesus is available to everyone with no distinction between Jews or Gentiles, children or adults. The Lord is the Lord of all people and he gives good gifts to all who call on him. Everyone who calls on him and trusts him will be saved. Many people will know that I'm a primary school teacher and in our school we have a core motto, a core aim that encompasses all that we do every day. And that is life in all its fullness through learning and love. Through all aspects of school life, whether that's the taught curriculum, the unstructured playtimes and lunch times, school trips, after school clubs, we instil in the children that living life as a Christian, believing in and trusting God and serving and caring for everyone is key to having a fullness in life and that life is for everyone and anyone. God's love knows no bounds. God has given us life and we should live it to the best of our ability. Most fulfilling life we can have, taking all the opportunities that are sent towards us, but also remembering to trust God, the one who will always be there. In conclusion, the words of the popular hymn in Christ Alone by Natalie Grant, I think really illustrates this point. In Christ alone, my hope is found. Here is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. 
Let us pray. Today I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Father, please show me any false idols in my life to which I give more loyalty than you. Help me to turn my back on them and to trust in you, Christ alone. Amen. So, your challenge today is to live life in all its fullness, to trust God, to be thankful for all that we have been given and declare that Jesus is our Lord. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you again really soon. Thank you.